Hello, um, in this video, I'm going to give you an updated overview of CTrader Automate. So this is the um, part of the CTrader trading platform where you write your automated trading robots or your algorithms and custom indicators. When you first start CTrader, you'll see something similar to this. Now I'm using 4.2 at the moment. It's just um, being released now to brokers. But in the future, um, it might be slightly different with if you're using a higher version and we haven't updated with a new video. So to find the automate tab, you just go on the left hand side down the screen. You can see there's a few options, copy, automate and analyze. Click on automate. Now this is the window where you're, like I said, you'll create all your automated trading robots or your custom indicators. Now what you're seeing now is just the sample ones um, that Spotware, the people that created the platform, they give you some example code to get you started. And in here you can see a sample RSI CBOT and this CBOT um, has three parameters, just quantity, source, and periods. And it opens and sells a position, sorry, it um, opens a buy or sell position depending on certain trade rules where the indicator is. Um, so we're gonna go into more detail when we do the educational courses of how to write your own automated trading systems. Um, so when you read this, sorry, when you watch this video, hopefully we'll have more um, lessons or classes that we're gonna do, but we're just starting off with a simple one to start with with an indicator. We're going to do a simple RSI indicator that sends a telegram message. Um, but again, you've got your indicators here. Now, what I'm going to show you is just the um, environment that you can use the, for the CTrader Automate. So I'm going to start by going back to CBOTs. For example, if you wanted to run this CBOT and just leave it running on the platform, you click on the plus uh, button there. You select the symbol you want to trade with. It comes up with the parameters here. If you don't see the parameters, go up there and you can turn off the trade bottom or parameters. Okay, now from here, you can adjust the settings, the quantity and lots, the periods, and then you just click play on the robot. You can also look at the log to see any information. Now this robot will run, the markets are closed at the moment, but this robot would run and um, open positions based on the trade rules inside this robot. Um, if you wanted to open up another symbol, so to trade two symbols uh, at the same time, I wanna trade both EURUSD and GBPUSD. I then open up another one, I click on it, I've got the parameters that I can adjust. I click on the play button and that will run. Obviously, this is a very simple example. CBOT, you get more complex ones uh, with a lot more parameter settings, but this is just to show you as an example. So as you can see through CTrader Automate, you can put multiple um, instances of the same robot running at the same time with not only different um, symbols, but different timeframes. So depending on your logic in your robot, you can specify different timeframes. Um, so you would do this to any robot you want to use. If you wanted to, re if you wanted to remove an instance, you just right click, remove instance. If you had some settings that were quite complex, you can also save the settings by saving the parameters, and then you can load the parameters that you've saved onto your hard disk. So you've got the option um, again if you've got a complex robot to actually save your settings or load your settings. Um, that's for CBOTs. Now the course that we're going to run our al algorithmic trading courses, they're free of charge. Um, we're going to go into a lot more detail about how to do how to use all of this, how to back test and optimize your settings. Up here you've got back testing. This will run a test of your robot over historical data just to see with the settings that you're using if it performed poorly or if it performed well. We've also got an optimization tab. Now this allows you to find the best settings. So if an example you had 50 different parameter settings here, you could run an optimization service that will find um, the optimized parameters for your indicator for the time period you're looking at. So this is a way of actually making sure that you're not putting um, any old settings in um, to actually run your robot. Now we're gonna go into later on about optimization, the, the pros and cons of it, of data fitting, and when it is useful to use and when it's not useful to use. And we have got other videos on our YouTube channel that will help you. Um, but this is just going to show you that you've got various features here and all the settings are shown in a separate video. So I'll make sure that you've got links on our education page to actually access this information to find out more about that. But this is just a brief overview. Um, here down at the bottom, you've got any positions that are open, any orders that are open, the history of trades that have been submitted, um, any transactions, the journal, and log information. Interesting. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just show you indicators. So on indicators, it's the same thing. You've got some example indicators um, that Spotware have um, allowed you to use. Now the structure of this code, as you can see down here, um, you might, if you're a beginner, uh, a new person using CTrader Automate or a new person using Microsoft C Sharp for coding, our classes will actually go into detail and explain each one of these lines and how it works. So if you're an experienced trader or a new trader, we'll actually help you 
um, in learning how to code very basic things to start with and then as the course advances to more advanced sort of systems that you can use and there's a lot of benefits in being able to do this yourself with um, example our first course is to send alerts or telegram alerts when a certain trade signal occurs on an indicator and then you can apply that to other indicators if you wanted to in add a new indicator you just click on the new button um, that's going to add a new indicator so to get that i'm going to have to get rid of that i've got a lot of indicators here and at the bottom here you can see that it's created a new indicator now this is the actual structure of the indicator that's created it comes up with something like this i'll go through with this um, template structure with you at a later date of how they use that the same thing with a cbot if you were to create a new cbot you do new cbot and it will create a, a cbot template with a template as well so that's a very brief overview of ctrader automate i'm not going into full details about back testing or optimization or anything else right now i'm just going to give you this overview just so you know where it is so that when you start our um, algorithmic trading course you know where to start because we're going to go straight in hands-on and show you how to start writing your code okay that's it um, if you like the video please give me a thumbs up thank you